And now for a reading from the Social Justice Warrior Bible with Pastor Gregory Post. Welcome in. I'm Gregory Post, head pastor at the Eternal Living Word Transdenominational Church and Coffee House in Novato, California. Today we actually have two readings from the SJW Bible dealing with the origins of life. The first one comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. And it reads, Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. Though to be clear, that does not mean that you were a person before birth. At that point, you were merely a clump of cells that I didn't care about. Then I said, Alas, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak because I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am a youth. Just speak from the heart, saying whatever you feel in the moment. And don't let anyone tell you you're wrong. Your youth is great because anyone over 30 is backward and out of touch anyway and probably supports the patriarchy. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you from the bigoted old white men, declares the Lord. Our second reading of the day will come from Psalm 139, 13-16. For you formed my inward parts, you wove me in my mother's womb, even though I was not human until birth. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made through billions of years of theistic evolution. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you, when I was made in secret, and skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth with my fish ancestors. Your eyes have seen my unformed gender-neutral substance. And in your iPad were written all the days that were ordained for me, that I might become an actual person when born, so that I could fulfill my goal of protesting fossil fuels. But if my gender-neutral parental unit had decided to exercise her right to end her pregnancy to stop that, I totally respect it. Wow, so inspirational. This has been another reading of the SJW Bible. And remember, the only truth that matters is your truth. Studies show that YouTube videos featuring attractive women get far more likes and subscriptions than ones that don't. This is especially true if she's exotic looking. Luckily, in the modern era, there's an easy way to work around this. You see, I identify as a very attractive Hispanic woman, so now you have to like this video and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're just an evil, heartless Nazi that hates brave, liberated, beautiful Latina women like me. Checkmate, woke brigade.